is going on YouTube? This is Josh here, giving you a, another Genesis Does episode. This is going to be another short one. I didn't pick up a whole lot. Um, it's been kind of slow for me for a while. Prices have been kind of uh, been kind of dipping up every time I check on eBay. But I did get a couple things today that um, I'm going to be showing you. One is an unboxing I just got in the mail today. That's pretty sweet, and I can't wait to try it out. And uh, I got a couple games here. One of them kind of rare. Another one, and the other one it's kind of uh, not. It's kind of common. It's not very expensive at all. But uh, anyway, I guess I'll start with the uh, rare one. Um, I was online. I was on my break at work, and I was checking eBay real quick on my phone, flipping through, and this game popped up for a cheaper price than what I've seen it go for. Now. I usually see this game go for about, I want to say 130, 130 bucks loose, and about 150 complete. I saw it for, I paid 47 for it. Now, with that said though, there is some label damage on it. There is a, it's a formal rental, so there is some, there is a void sticker on the side of it. And the uh, the end label is kind of ripped off, but I don't care. I'm just happy to have it. It's in in the list of rarity. Um, if you're not counting, which I don't count, I don't count Pure Solar, and I don't count Beggar Prince, and I don't count uh, was it Star Odyssey because those came out after the system's lifespan. So I don't count those ones as being part of the official um, list. But if with that those set aside, I'd have to say this is probably number I'd say four rare. Um, Grindstormers above it, then Musha. Or wait, no, I take it back. If you count Outback Joey being number one, then it'd be Crusader, Musha, um, and then I think this one. Yeah, this one. Um, with that said, Zero the Kamikaze Squirrel. Now, as you can see from the label, there is a sticker on the side of it. And, yeah, part of the label's been ripped off on the side. You got some void warranty sticker that's been removed. I can get rid of that, no problem. But it plays. It's a good game. I liked it. Um, I could see why it's expensive. Um... It's hard to find. That's probably what that that's probably what contributes to why it's expensive. But zero the Kamikaze Squirrel. And this next game, um, I kind of bought on accident because I was debating whether or not to spend a bunch of money buying like the I was gonna go for like the five dollars and under or no ten dollars and under games, and I decided not to do that. Simply because I just I don't know I don't I don't see my myself playing a lot of the game I know I need them for my collection and I'll get them eventually I just didn't get them this time but one of them I accidentally bought because I gave the guy a better a better offer than what he was offering for it and he accepted so I kind of had to buy it but um, that game is Aerobiz the first one. With that being said, I, I'd still like to get the second one, even though I'm not really a big fan of uh, what are these airplane simulation games. Um, it's a Koei game. Um, it's nothing too special. It's like a $15 game, $15, $20 game. I got it for. I think I got. I think I paid uh, $17 for it. But it it has some. It has a little bit of label damage on it on the side. A little nick here, a little nick there. I mean. Other than that. Okay, and then the grand finale of this video. I know it's short, but I got a package today. I've been waiting for it in the mail. Um, I'm going to pause the video to open it and then, well, to open up the, the top part and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I uh, pre cut the box. I didn't look inside yet, so I want to look inside together and uh, let's see. Let's 
some, uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> cool. <sighs> yes. I finally got one of these after debating whether or not to get one for the longest time. And I finally went ahead and got one. I got it for a good deal. I paid 147 for it. These usually are a little bit more than that, but I give you the Sega Mega Everdrive made by Crix and sold by Stone Age Gamer. Yes, this is the deluxe edition. Um, I bought this off somebody off eBay. Uh, like I said, good deal. Um, you open it up. You got your manual. You got your disk drive, and what's nice is the, if I can find it, yep, it's right here, it even came with a 4 gig micro SD card. Now, I already have a card pre-programmed uh, pre and everything, so I'm going to be swapping that out and probably uh, putting this in something else. I might, I've been actually thinking about buying the... Uh, the Game Boy EverDrive, but I don't know yet. But anyway, for all of you, those out there who don't know what the Mega EverDrive is, it is a flash cart that basically, when you plug it into your uh, Sega Genesis, okay, you can basically play Sega Genesis ROMs off a SD card onto your actual console. Not only Sega Genesis ROMs, but you can also play 32X ROMs if you have the 32X adapter. And you can also play Sega Master System games on this. But you have to have the 32X adapter unplugged to play the Master System games. Otherwise, it won't work. That being said, yeah. Um, the reason why I bought this is because I've been debating whether or not whether or not I wanted to uh, basically buy a bulk amount of games at the moment or hold myself over with this and just buy the games as I as I find them. Find them for better prices than I've been finding them. That's my problem. I'm not finding good deals for the games I want. So I bought this to hold me over for now. With that being said, though, I'm not done. I am not done with this. This will not stop me from, you know, completing my goal, which is to get a, basically a somewhat complete uh, US NTSC Genesis collection minus the, like, really, really common, like, sports titles. That's, that's what I mean by specific. I, the only there's only some exceptions to that rule. Uh, the exceptions with that being is Mutant League, the Mutant League series, Mutant League Hockey and Football, which I have. Um, the one sports game, the one actual sports game I want to get is John Madden Football '93 uh, Special Champion Edition, just because it's you know Blockbuster exclusive. It was only released in Blockbuster stores. That's the only way you can get it to play it. That's probably the only sports game I'd want. But that's what I mean by specifics. Um, also, like I said before, Baker Prince, Star Odyssey, all them, you know, games that came out after the system's lifespan, I'm not actively pursuing to find, basically. Um, I'm, I'm only trying to get the ones that released when the system was in its life cycle, if that makes sense. Outback Joey, I'll probably never ever get, just like everybody else out there. There was only so many of those made. Um, I've never physically seen one. I've never seen, I've never even seen one on eBay. I've seen pictures of it, but I've never actually seen one on eBay. Not, well, the one time I did see a, a fit, fit active system, but I never actually seen the game for sale. I don't. I think the game was included, but I've never actually seen it, and it was like a lot of money. So, with that being said, though, I'm still actively pursuing this. I'm slow at it. I have a budget. You know. 
I'm not, you know, spending my whole life trying to get this. This is just my hobby. So that's why these episodes are kind of short and few and far in between, if that makes sense. Anyway, this is Josh saying thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing if you just subscribed. Uh, thumbs up the video. Leave a comment down below. Um, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you.